A British inquest has begun into one of the worst sporting disasters. 25 years ago, 96 soccer fans were crushed to death at Sheffield's overcrowded Hillsborough Stadium. But families of the victims have never accepted the initial conclusion the disaster was just an accident. As Stuart Greer explains, the new inquiry will determine if police negligence led to the tragedy. They've been fighting for justice for 25 years. Now the families of the 96 victims who died on the darkest day in English soccer history hope to finally get the answers they deserve. All we're asking for is, you know, the facts, the truth, and only what we should have had 25 years ago. We're just hoping that these come out with a more just result than the last ones. There's a the corner on the crossbar. April 15, 1989, a semi-final match between Liverpool and Nottingham at Hillsborough Stadium in Sheffield. Police open a gate for 2,000 Liverpool fans. As they surge forward, those already inside are crushed against fences. Dozens are asphyxiated standing up. Others trampled to death. Amy and Claire McGlone were aged just two and five when their father, Alan, died on that tragic day. The sisters have never accepted the findings of the first investigation that called the deaths an accident and blamed some of the victims for being drunk and out of control. We've done all our fight and we know that my dad was innocent, that all the 96 were innocent. Then two years ago, Britain's Prime Minister called for a new inquiry after missing police files were uncovered and brought to light new evidence that vindicated the victims. I am profoundly sorry that this double injustice has been left uncorrected for so long. The inquest will hear how the police commander in charge of crowd control that day had no experience dealing with huge sporting events. How, through negligence or corruption, previous incidents of overcrowding were ignored by the authorities. And a parallel criminal investigation will establish if anyone should be blamed. We know this is the last chance we've got now and we get it done properly. So my hope at the end of this is obviously, you know, that the families We'll have some peace at the end of this, more than anything. The inquest is expected to last a year. After waiting more than two decades for justice, the families hope they get a verdict they can finally accept. Stuart Greer, Global News, London.